Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amirul Shafiq bin Yazid and my metric number is 1192097 and I'm student from the Faculty of Sharia and Law, University Sains Islam Malaysia. The topic that I want to talk today is about the polygamy in Malaysia. Okay, moving to the overview about polygamy. Polygamy is where the husband marry more than one wife and Islam permit polygamy but with condition. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran in Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 3, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim wa in khiftum alla tuqsitu fil yatama fankihu ma taba lakum minan nisa فَانْكِهُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثُلَاثَ وَرْبَعَ فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا فَوَاحِدَةَ أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ ذَلِكَ أَدْنَى أَلَّا تَعُولُوا The translation of it means that if you fear that you might not treat the orphan justly, then marry the woman that seem good to you, two, three, or four. If you fear that you will not be able to treat them justly, then marry only one or marry from among those whom your right hand possesses. This will make it more likely that you will avoid injustice. So basically, Islam permit the polygamy, but we need to be justice towards the wife. So in order to be just, there are many discussions among the Islamic scholars about how to be just in this context. This verse. Okay, the reason is why Islam permit the polygamy. Okay, from the geographically aspect, why Islam permit men to marry more than one wife is because there are more women than men in this world. And if one man marry one woman, there are still huge numbers of women cannot get husband. And from legal perspective, Sharia law in Malaysia, polygamy is permit but need approval from the Sharia court. Okay, according to the enactment 12 tahun 2002 enactment undang-undang keluarga Islam negeri Melaka 2002 bahagian 2 perkahwinan permulaan kepada perkahwinan section 23 poligami subsection 1 tiada seorang lelaki pun semasa berterusannya suatu perkahwinan boleh kecuali dengan mendapat kebenaran terlebih dahulu secara bertulis daripada mahkamah membuat akad nikah perkahwinan yang lain dengan perempuan lain so basically in this section 23 about the polygamy according to the enactment of the uh, state of melaka about the undang-undang islam undang-undang keluarga islam the men the husband, i.e. the husband, need the approval from the court in order to marry another another woman to do the polygamy. But if we read this session as a whole, there are certain terms and the condition that need to be fulfilled by, by the husband. Firstly, the first wife must need to know about the husband that he want to do the polygamy. And then there are certain terms and condition need to be fulfilled by the husband in order in order to get the approval from the court that he is eligible to do the polygamy based on his uh, property. He need to be just. He need to can afford to do the polygamy. So basically, even though that some have have said that there is no need for the first wife to know about uh, the husband if they want if he want to marry another woman but still in the context of the law sharia law in malaysia the polygamy need to be get the approval from the sharia court and the wife and according to the law the wife need to know about the polygamy that do that need to be done by husband among the issue arise about polygamy is the first, the husband not apply to the court when he marries second wife, which is when he do the polygamy. And second, this must happen because the husband do not want to tell his wife that he want to polygamy, maybe because he was afraid that his wife will not permit it and he will not get the approval from the court. And lastly, they will cross border. In most cases, they will go to Thailand to do the marriage process without the knowing from the first wife. Besides, it is an offense to do polygamy without the approval of Sharia court. In the enactment Undang-Undang Keluarga Islam Terengganu 2017, polygamy tanpa kebenaran mahkamah 
Pada section 126, jika seseorang lelaki berkahwin lagi di mana-mana jua pun dalam masa perkahwinannya yang sedia ada, masih berterusan tanpa mendapat kebenaran secara bertulis terlebih dahulu daripada mahkamah, maka dia adalah melakukan suatu kesalahan dan hendaklah dihukum. Denda tidak melebihi RM2,000 atau penjara tidak melebihi satu tahun atau kedua-duanya. So basically, it is an offence to do polygamy without the approval of syariah court and the person will will be punished according to the law. Okay, moving on to the cases about polygamy. This case is uh, from the news. Dijendai kerana kahwin dan poligami tanpa kebenaran mahkamah. Actually, this case was happened in Marang, Terengganu where the fact of the case is a man aged 45 years old which is a government employee married and another woman where he commit polygamy in Thailand, we thought the approval from the Shariah Court in Malaysia and after the case was brought to the court, to the Shariah Court, the Hakim Shari'ini Muhammad Shahril Irwan Mat Yusof decide that the accused need to pay for about 1,500 ringgit fine or if he fail to do so, he will be imprisoned about 4 months and this is the charge on the section 126 enactment undang-undang keluarga Islam Terengganu about the polygamy offence actually the accused was charged with many or many charges but I only highlighted about the polygamy offence so we can see that the enforcement of the shariah law regarding polygamy in Malaysia in this case okay, based on the analysis that I have been made in the topic of polygamy in Malaysia, I conclude that polygamy is a sunnah but do not misuse it on the name of Islam to take advantage towards other people because in so many cases in Malaysia where the husband married another woman without the knowing of her first wife and this has led to many divorce actually. And second, the husband need to be honest to their wife if he want to do the polygamy means that he need to tell his wife and even the law itself if we need to get the approval from the shari'ah court we need to let the the, the first wife know that we need to marry this uh, another woman then the wife out there also need to know that they have right to bring the case to the court if such polygamy had been committed by her husband without her knowing that we that the wife out there should know that we have the right to file the case at the court if their husband commit polygamy without without her knowing and lastly the law regarding the punishment about polygamy should be revised back in order to increase the punishment as we can see that the punishment is is quite low this is because this case has been repeat, repeated so many times even there is a law and punishment about the polygamy so uh, personally i think that the law regarding this punishment of about the polygamy should be revised back and increase we need to increase the, the punishment of this offense so that's it from me